Well, what's up everybody? I hope you're all doing great. Um, in the next few minutes, we'll do a quick price prediction and price analysis on Ethereum Classic. Um, so I'm not going to go into any fundamentals about whether you agree with the hard fork and referring the, the the Genesis block and stuff of Ethereum. Um, but we will do a, a short technical analysis. I mean, the volume of uh, Ethereum Classic is absolutely looking amazing. Um, and yeah, I still think there's potential for it to go up. It did at the beginning of this year, so something like that will be tough, but still there are opportunities. And I actually think uh, short term, uh, we're actually moving up to 34. And we might do that with another touch of, of 31, 31.15, uh, somewhere in that region. But it actually looks like it's more uh, likely that we will just break this trend line right here and break the 32.5 and go there immediately. And from there, I think it's the, the, the more important question what happens from there. Um, because, because we could break it and if we would break it, we'll probably move up until 35. Um, probably find some resistance off of there. Uh, but if we close around 35, so between, well, let's say 34.5 and 35, then I actually think uh, the, the the whole market structure has kind of changed. So then I, I, I would assume that we would trend towards 38. I think that's very realistic. Uh, obviously not in one big move, that'll take some time. You know, we might do something like this. Start with a consolidation, try to get up there, uh, maybe even fall back down to 34 all the way. But eventually I think we're trending up to 38. And I think it's, uh, that's inevitable if we break uh, at around uh, 34.5, 35. Um, if we don't, so if we find resistance off of 34, which is quite likely as well, I mean, the market is not per se um, bullish. So if we do something like this after touching it, then I think it's more likely that we drop down to 30, obviously also not in one big move, but eventually drop down to 30 and maybe try again from there. You know, that kind of depends on the whole state of the crypto market and the price action before that as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically my analysis on Ethereum Classic, ETC is the abbreviation. Um, if you have any questions about the analysis or if you want to discuss it, I'm always open for that uh, down in the comments. Um, so yeah, as always, this is not financial advice, it's just my opinion based on a technical analysis, but um, having said that, thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.